Altair Monarch is a versatile tool in the impressive portfolio of data-driven software provided by Altair. Monarch has an extensive range of applications, including data cleansing and preparation, turning unstructured data into structured data, and generating custom reports and report templates. All of these features and more play into one of the software's most impressive abilities, the power to turn endless PDFs into tidy and concise tables. In this video, we will be taking a look specifically at what to do when our input PDFs have data in multiple columns that we are interested in trapping and turning into rows of the same field. We will assume that some traps have already been defined, meaning we have already created some fields, such as the account number and contact name in this example. Now let us attempt to collect the rest of the data on the PDF. Each page ranks the popularity of composers at a given music store, and we would like to store these names and ranks as fields in our dataset. We can think of each of these as a single column in our final table. If we use our normal approaches to trapping data, we will not end up with the results we need though. If we just set one trap for the whole row, we will end up with each field entry containing the entire row of the PDF rather than just the name of the composer. Alternatively, if we set up three separate traps, we will end up with three separate fields, which is also not what we want. We want to collect this information and store it as one single column. This is an excellent time to define a multi-column region to work with this portion of the input data. To begin, we will simply navigate to the multi-column region tab. From here, we will define the number of columns, their width, and the boundaries of our multi-column region. Some of this requires some manual tuning, such as the width of the columns, while some of it will be known by examining the input data. For instance, in this example, I know I have three columns of data in this region, and I know the multi-column region begins after the trap I have set for the contact name. Now that the region is defined for these columns, I can return to the trapping tab to continue capturing this information. From here, I can turn on multi-column design mode and define my traps like normal. This gives us the exact results we were looking for. Both the composer name and rank have their own individual columns in the final report. This has been a brief overview of how to set up multi-column regions in Altair Monarch. If you would like to learn more about this topic, about Altair Monarch, or about the broad suite of Altair data science solutions, please be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at trueinsight.io.